Welcome to match day 11 of the Essex Lions League Senior Division campaign. Today sees the Daggers take the trip to Lakeside to face Chadwell Heath Spartans. Let's go for a start in 11. Today sees Rob Boozer between the sticks as always. A back four of Shadrach, Jordan, Chris and Jordan Adesanya. Two centre midfielders in Derek and Diego. With Charlie Fianna playing just in front in the cam roll. Front three is rounded off with Richie on the left, Issa up top and TJ out wide on the right. Four on the bench today, Fritz, Adekaley, George and Scott rounds off the team. The two sides have met each other before in the past in friendly action which saw the Daggers come out as victors. This is the first time meeting in the league however in a competitive setting and we see Spartans are underway. Dagnum mini away kit of the blue and white stripes, Spartans in their home of the black and red. An experienced ref today sees Kadir take the whistle and a man in the middle. Dagnum managed to get a turnover possession here, played the ball out wide, but there was a Spartans player down early doors. Good tackle there by Chris at the back. Richie picks it up. Played some really nice football. Dagnum all seems to play well on 3G, and that's a great ball across TJ. Find some space, Ooh. just drags a shot unlucky, over. Unlucky TJ, unlucky! Should have done better with that chance there. Opening them up early doors. Really good to see Dagnum starting this game so positively. As I said, played some really nice football throughout. We see again Richie causing all kinds of problems down that left hand side. Charlie again cuts inside nicely. Ball into a dangerous area, but nobody there on the edge of the box just picking it up. He's just looking to see if he can reset the ball. He does. That's a great knock back. Adesanya you can put in a good delivery and we see it there. It's not a bad one at all, but keepers read it. My hands are gone, you know that. Where are they gone? I can still see them. Come on, man. You don't take, get it. It's not this close, <laughs> man. Come on. Say it's a very cold game today. Addy feeling a little chill. Whoa, weird guy. He's a weird man. Make sure looking for his own tactics. <laughs> yeah, go, make sure you hold his hand on the way back, yeah? He's got a thing for you. <laughs> you get that idea? Yeah, 100%. Whoa, weird guy. I mean, that's an odd one there. Not seeing that before. A nice little nose pick in front of the camera as well. Maybe trying to get in the daggers' heads. Not working, unfortunately. And that is a fantastic touch by Charlie. Sets it back for Diego. Just can't quite connect, but it's another shot on target. Dagnum again putting on the pressure. See Chris with his long throw special. It's a great ball into the box. Just can't quite fall for Issa. Does well to hold it up though. Looks to play back. Chris steps nicely. Derek had a fantastic game throughout. We'll say managed to get another throw in there. Well done. Winners! Oh, Diego, well done. Diego does the world out, get his yeah. body in the way. That's a great ball into the box by Chris. No one able to get onto the end of it. We've seen throughout this season those three kicks from Chris have been so dangerous. He's got quite a few on target. He's managed to score one against Woodford East as well back in the league. Just not able to convert that. And Spartans looking, trying to mount some pressure now. That's a great ball inside. Flick didn't quite come off, but Strikers managed to hold the ball well. Good ball out wide, tucking in there behind the left back. <laughs> But Rob's seen that and absolutely flattens the player. Great goalkeeping. Games like this are decided by fine margins. We see here, ball sets up nicely for TJ. What a strike and what a save. What a save. What a fucking save. You've got to applaud a goalkeeper. Even when it's the opposition for a save like that, it's kept his team in it there. And again, the ball's pinballing the bat in the box. And that is the halftime whistle. Dagnum feeling a little bit... Aggrieved to go in nil-nil. But some superb goalkeeping has kept Spartans in it. And we said at halftime we've got to hit this second half hard and fast. And that is exactly what we did. Started to pile on the pressure even further. No, we needed to nick a goal early in this second half. Give us the best chance to take it home all three points. Sometimes in games like that, when a keeper pulls off a moment of magic as well. We need a little bit of moment of magic ourselves. And he pops out to that little man there, Diego, showing good feet, plays the ball out wide to Richie. Calls all sorts of problems, swap wings as well, just really confuse the defenders. And we see a slash clearance there, and what a strike that is!
Diego nets his fifth goal of the season there and what a strike it was. Great touchdown on the chest. Absolutely levers that over the keeper. Superb finish and Dagnum rightly 1-0 up. They feel for all the pressure they deserve the goal. Should have been more coming throughout the game as well, but that is a way to start. Diego, superb! Why are we keep going? That's fine, that's fine. Oh. He didn't really... I like you, Richie. He didn't get his foot behind him. What a run that is by Richie. Superb vision by Robert the distribution well as well, just to set him on his way. Yeah, run. Time, time, time. See the driver forward as well. Caught Thank on the ankle you. there. Could not deal with him throughout the game. Managed to get a number of fouls. I'm seeing Derek has got a very good delivery as well. Seen it on a number of occasions this season. That's a great ball. The crossfield ball there by TJ sees Adesanya out wide in the space. Good, good ball into the box, into a dangerous area as well. Not quite cleared away. And again, it's fallen to Diego, I've already seen once. Plays into Isa, it's a turn. Oh, what a save again. Charlie not able to get the follow up. Keeper has kept them in this game once again with a fantastic point blank save. Got a hand it to him. Spartans man a match by a country mile. Pulled off some great saves throughout the game and kept them in it. And that's a great ball into the box again. Charlie just unable to get onto the end of it once more. Keeper's done well again. Stood his ground and got a hand to it. I mean, you can hear the confusion on the bench. That's a, another strange one. Don't try and win the ball. I'm not sure if that's a indictment of trying to foul the player or just the fact that they're not, not able to deal with the Dagnan players going forward. But the pressure is mounting. Should be 2 3 now. Now, by far, like I said, the uh, Spartans keepers kept him in it. That's another good ball. Charlie takes a strike, drags it wide. You see, Dagnan got to start taking their chances, though. We've seen it too many times. Start to dominate teams. We just don't quite put the game to bed. It's Spartans' turn to try and get a reply now. Hashed shot on the edge of the box. Not fully dealt with, though. Charlie flicks on. Good strike there. Drags it wide. Another half a foot to the left and that's going bottom corner. Ball flashed across the box, but what a save by Rob. Both keepers have been fantastic games as well. And we see our first sub of the game. George Martin comes on to replace Diego. Good cut inside there by Derek. Plenty of space there. Acres, in fact. George on the turn. And they can thread the ball nicely. Good feet. And again, Richie just finding acres of space. Just seemed easy at points for Dagnum. Building these attacks at will now in this second half. That's a good little clip there by George. Defenders managed to read it though and the ball does roll out for a corner. Again, we're seeing Derek has got a fantastic delivery. Looking to put one into the box. Chris Quidier there. All knocked down into a dangerous area again, but cleared away by the Spartans defender. Shadow just caught on the wrong side there, but Jordan does it ever so well sweeping that up. Spartans looking to reply again here. Not a bad free kick. Got a decent whip on it, just couldn't quite get it down in time. And we see our second sub of the game. Scott comes on to replace Issa up top. Chris does well there, read that, plays it nicely to Derek. Just misjudged the ball there. Battling away though, just too strong for him. And again, it's another foul, just drags him down. Derek's so good at that, winning multiple free kicks throughout the game. That's a good ball into the box. Great touch by TJ. Just unlucky he couldn't turn there and get the strike off. But George has found some space on the edge of the box again. Spartans just trying to flood players around them. Still can't fully nick the ball away, but they look to get on the break. And that's great tracking back by George. Lovely bit of skill there by Chris as well. And great vision to pick out the pass. Great touch again by TJ. Richie once again swapped wings throughout the game. Good ball on the inside again. Charlie on the turn. Cuts the ball across the box. Scott's... Oh, another fantastic save. Really disappointed. Scott knows that's a great opportunity. Should have buried that one, but 
Once again, got to give it a keep of fingertips are onto the hilla, bar. Hilla, 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 hilla. How on earth hilla, hilla, hilla. he has kept them in this game is beyond me. He's had the game of his life. First couple of games, he's added Kaylee well coming on to replace Richie. Well Ball just slashed wide there by TJ, but he's had a number of chances throughout this game. And again, we just see it's been all dagger in this game. It really has. There's no two ways about it. Just not buried the chances, and that's the frustrating thing. Spartans now venturing forward on a rare attack. Shadrach's read that ever so well, and a great last stick challenge. Really difficult one that is. Ball's coming across his body. But he's read it well and managed to slide it out of play. Great defending. Oh, I'm not sure about that at all. Let's go to the judges. A rather dramatic tumble has left Spartans with a dangerous free kick and a ball pinballed in again. It's just slighted home in the 89th minute. So frustrating. It's been all Dagnum. Man, you're fucking finish our chances. Understandably, you can hear Nana, our coach, on the sideline, extremely frustrated there. There was a shout for offside, but I'll be honest, the line wasn't great throughout the game. And again, here we see this how that's not been given as a free kick. Spartans player just misses the ball completely, catches Addy on the fire, and it could again put us in a dangerous position, but unfortunately, it was missed. Complain as much as we want about decisions, though. We know full well that we've had four or five very, very good chances to finish this game off. Should not have allowed the team to have the opportunity to come back. It's a great ball by Rob as well, to be fair. Great distribution. Just not able to keep it in. And that sees the full time whistle blown. The game finishes 1 1. Definitely a case of two points dropped here, not one point gained. Spartans. Much the happier with the result. Stagham left frustrated and hard not to feel dejected. Should have walked away with all three points here, no question about that. I don't think there's a single person at the game today that could have any reasonable argument to say that's not the case, but it's the same story. We know we've got to start putting our chances to bed. Very good finish from Diego. It's a point game on the road. We know we've just got to keep putting out these performances and start picking up those three points the final result there is 1-1 one, one. a big thank you to everyone for watching